Before the new definition, really what we're trying to do when we define epilepsy is say when somebody has an enduring predisposition to have more seizures. And you could theoretically, if you could measure the seizure threshold and know when it drops, you could even before the first seizure figure out that somebody had epilepsy, but unfortunately we can't measure the seizure threshold. So we used to be, have to wait until two seizures had occurred to say that somebody had epilepsy because a single seizure can occur and the threshold is not really lowered and they don't really have an enduring predisposition to have another seizure. And we were really only going by statistics to say that there is a 70% likelihood if you have two seizures that you're gonna have a third. But we went back and we thought about it and we said, well, in some circumstances, really just by epidemiological statistics, we already know after a first seizure that somebody has a high likelihood of having more seizures. And that would be, for example, in the setting of having had a prior injury to the brain, like a stroke, where the EEG is abnormal and there are other factors that make it appear that there is an enduring change in the brain that caused a seizure. So now in those circumstances, after a first seizure has occurred, you can already say that somebody has epilepsy without waiting for a second seizure. There's another really important part of the new definition, and that is that we now have uh, a definition of when epilepsy is no longer present. So in the past, it was once you have epilepsy, you always have epilepsy and we really had no end point. So, you know, for example, if somebody was asked on a form, do you have epilepsy, even if you only had a seizure 20 years ago, you might have to say yes. But now there is a very specific definition of when epilepsy is no longer present, and that is when you have not had a seizure for 10 years and you have been off medication for at least five years. So that will allow those people to be reassured that doesn't mean that there is absolutely zero chance that another seizure will occur, but we believe that the likelihood of more seizures at that point is low enough that we can say that epilepsy is no longer present and it's getting back to the likelihood of the population as a whole.